what is going on everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Noah Shaw or Ford Sixpo and in today's video we're going to be doing a full walk around and detailed view of all the vehicles and toys I own. So let's go ahead jump right into today's video and see what we got. So first of all we've got my 2018 Polaris Turbo Razor and this thing is just super fun to drive around the ranch and all over. I even got it street legal so I can take it into my small little town. Let's check it out a little bit closer. Some of the first mods you'll see is I did the full replacement PRP seats, the audio forms sound roof, and that thing bumps louder than anything I've ever been in. And I've got my full underglow kit on the vehicle as well. If you look underneath, we can turn it on here and up front. All the way around, I've got these strips. You can do any color. I usually run it on yellow as like a caution for when I'm taking it down the streets and such. And we've got the huge whips in the back, as long as these longer ones that are connected via my phone. And then I've got my decals, of course, all the way around. The ECM on the Razor is completely tuned. I sent it off to be tuned. I put a high flow AEM pump on the Razor as well. And we got a little bit bigger injectors. And if you followed me on Snapchat, you've known I've kind of snapped the axles on this thing quite often. So I replaced the back axles with some Rhino 2.0 full replacements. And then we tore the boot on the one, so I replaced the one boot. So let's go ahead, turn it on, rip on it a little bit, and then pull it out of the way. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get buckled into the two-point harness, turn this thing on and rip on it, see what it's got. That's one of my favorite toys to drive around the ranch. Let's go ahead and put it up now. All right guys, now we're gonna move on to our dirt bikes. Check them out, see what we've got. So moving on to our dirt bikes, I've got my 2018 KTM SXF 250. And the only thing I've really done to this bike here is I fully polished the whole entire exhaust and side of the bike all the way around all the radiators and everything. And other than that, I've added some billet breakaway levers for the clutch and the front right brake. And then other than that, that's all really for this bike. Moving on to the second bike, we've got a 2021 KTM 110 little pit bike. It's super fun to rip around on. It's got an FMF exhaust, so it's super loud. A ton of billet parts like the gas cap, all the clutch covers and everything on this side. You can ch check it out and new sprocket everything's really replaced and turned out awesome don't mind the numbers i bought them with that on there but let's go ahead get them off the stands and see what they've got and also on the razor you can see the lights have a ton of different modes that you can control from your phone and they flow through perfect they're available on my website fordsixfo.com you can put them on your side by side you can put them on your truck you can basically put them on anything that has a battery so check those out ahead and start up the bike now. Alright guys, so unfortunately we can't rip on the little 110 today because I got, forgot to put some gas in it. So I'm going to set this aside and then we're going to move on to my Shelby Mustang. Alright guys, moving on we've got my 2018 Ford Mustang Shelby G2350. It's one of my favorite cars. I've always dreamt of owning one of these. And I finally got one and it's just been so fun to ride around town with and go on road trips. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. Moving on to the front, we've got the whole windshield tinted 30% ceramic. I did a video on that if you haven't already seen it, thanks to Centex Tint. All the way around the sides and back are about 15%. Moving on to the interior, we've got all black leather all the way around and Alcantara in the middle of the seats. It's even still got the tag on the back seat. 
but all the way around it's a really really nice interior design from Ford I love the steering wheel and everything and we've got my unit in radar up there but definitely a really fun car to drive around the car also has huge Brembo brakes and rotors all the way around and one of the mods we've done to the car we actually installed a full Borla attack exhaust from the cat bat that was also a YouTube video on the channel if you haven't already seen it let's go ahead start the car up now let y'all hear it Go take it for a little ride and test it out. From the side of the car, you can kind of see a little bit of a glimpse at that Borla attack muffler. But let's go ahead and start it up now. Man, that car just sounds way too good. Yeah, it's safe to say that Borla Attack exhaust made a big difference. This car sounds absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and move on to my OBS 7.3 now. Moving on to the inside of the shop that we just completed in the last video, we've got my two beautiful trucks. But first of all, we've got my 1995 Ford F250 OBS 7.3 Power Stroke. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of a closer look at it. As you can see from the outside, it is in just perfect condition. The paint is actually a new paint job. We completely redid it. It's a blue and nice stonish gray, two-tone. And then moving on to the front, the windshield has 30% tint with a 5% brow. And all the way around the vehicle, we've got 5% tint on the sides and rear. On the front end of the vehicle, we've got a brand new grille, bumper, and the clear headlights. But I'm gonna show y'all how really clean the 7.3 is by popping the engine bay and showing y'all it. I haven't even cleaned it or anything, but let's check it out. Popping the hood now, and going underneath, you can really see how clean this engine bay is. We've got two Odyssey brand new batteries, and over here we've got an S&B cold air intake. But other than that, it's just completely factory. Everything's stock underneath the hood. But man, is it just in mint condition. I love this truck. It's a perfect daily, and I drive it around town all the time. And on the interior of the truck, we've just got a beautiful blue seats all the way around. They're in great condition. The seat and steering wheel, everything is really, really nice all the way around. The sound system is insane on this thing. I'll show you all that in a second. You can see it's got a huge JL audio amp for that sub and the whole door speakers all the way around, but it's just in great condition. And best of all, the truck only has 117,000 total original miles. We can do a little walk around here all the way around. Got some Axe off-road, 22 by 12 wheels. Also got the clear taillights in the rear and a brand new rear bumper and a really nice retractable bed cover. It's a little bit dirty right now. It's been sitting, but other than that, there's a four inch exhaust and that kind of wraps it up for the 7.3. Lastly, we've got my 2022 Ford F350 King Ranch that we completely built from a factory stock truck. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of a closer look and check out what all is done to this truck. So starting off on this King Ranch build, everything we did to the entire truck is completely paint matched down to the headlights and taillights, all of the grill and it's rocking my six 14 inch kit on the website. I've got it mounted to two different switches. The two separate bars can turn on or the four separately. And then we've got the tremor valence. We've got the dual steering stabilizer shocks down below, all Fox shocks around the whole truck, sitting on some 26 by 16 Max Forge custom wheels with some custom floater center caps and some spike lug nuts. Then we're rocking a Fury 38 by 15 and a half by 26 tire. Got the Fox Resi shocks up front, all of the coil springs and base of all. The lift kit suspension is powder coated the blue to match the truck and we've got some custom Ford 6 bow overlay, fully paint match mirrors and side emblems on the truck. We've got that two tone going on, 30% ceramic across the windshield and 5% window tint all the way around and the back. Moving down below, we've got the striker full lift kit system. We've got the nice four link with the radius arm drop bracket to the four link. It's got a two tone, beautiful powder coat and it all connects together to the floating center cradle down to these traction bars. Everything's two tone all the way around. And we've got a five inch DPF back exhaust to a little polished exhaust tip. Then on the back, we've got our smoked and paint matched tails on the back and all the emblems and everything are two toned. And we've got my custom decal on the back as well on this one with the smoke third brake light. Then moving on to the interior now inside the truck, it's just a perfect King Ranch leather look. As you can see all the carpet, everything is in perfect shape 
all the way around. Just a beautiful truck with a fully panoramic sunroof and the huge Ford 2022 screen. Just turns out amazing. And a little bit of a driver's side look here. I love the way they do these King Ranch with the two-tone on the leather. Just looks amazing. Got my business cards up here in the middle. But man, is that screen just huge. And the truck's only got 8,100 miles on it. But that's going to kind of wrap it up for the 2022 F350 build. Lastly, I'm going to give you all a startup on the 2022 to show you all what the grill lights look like. They're available on my website, Ford6Fo.com, the 414-inch kit for 03 to 22, Super Duties, and more. Perfect addition to any truck. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for the 2022. And we're gonna go ahead and walk out of the shop, close it now. And before we end off the video, I wanted to give a big thank you to all of y'all on Instagram for 200,000 followers. And thanks to y'all, I'm just completed another one of my dreams off my bucket list of releasing my own dealership. I applied for my license, got accepted, and now I introduce y'all to Prime Motor Company. But thanks to all of y'all and all your continuous support across all of my social media platforms, I'm happy to say that I just opened my new dealership called Prime Motor Company. So if you haven't already, go to Instagram, go check it out, Prime Motor Co. and follow the new account. It would really mean a ton. But guys, that's gonna kind of wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed checking out all of my vehicles and toys and I hope it was enjoyable. If you did enjoy it, please leave a comment down below and like on the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. But other than that, I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for watching.